it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. Let's review another sunscreen. So every summer here on my channel, I like to do this little sunscreen review series where I just purchase a bunch of different types of SPFs and um, I test them on my very oily <laughs> 44 year old skin. Um, despite being in my mid 40s, my oil production really hasn't slowed down a whole lot. I have definitely learned to manage it a lot better at this point in my life, but I still have a very oily skin type. Um, I do think that it can be a little bit more difficult to find an SPF that works on either combination oily or very oily skin. Um, I find a lot of SPFs really leave behind like a shine to the skin and if you're someone that has oily skin I feel like you you're probably like me where you're just like ah I don't need any more shine like I'm good on the shine department um, I have a natural shine <laughs> from the oil that freely uh, flows from my pores on a daily basis right also I find that you know oily skin it just um, it's just hard to find products that stay put. Um, I do find that uh, a lot of SPFs either want to slide off my face or they just don't play well with makeup. So it's always a process to find something that works. And this summer I've decided to not only focus on like your typical SPFs that you might put on say before you get ready for work. So before you put on your makeup, stuff like this, the Summer Fridays, um, Shade Drops. I reviewed these this year. Um, this is one of my Holy Grail SPS from Paula's Choice, the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. So typically I tend to review more of these types of SPFs. However, one of the big things that I think people forget about the most is that you actually do have to reapply your SPF throughout the day. And if you are someone who wears makeup, you know the struggle of trying to apply a liquid SPF like this um, on top of makeup. It ju it's just not gonna look great, right? <laughs> but you know you need to reapply. So there are a few different options for reapplication. Um, obviously, you can go over with your liquid SPF, but again, if you're wearing makeup, that might not be the best. Um, there are a lot of powder SPFs on the market, but what I'm focusing on a little bit more this summer, because I think this is probably one of the best options for reapplication, is these spray SPFs. Now, these do not just necessarily have to be for touch-ups. You can also use these, you know, just before applying your makeup as well. A lot of these uh, different types of spray SPFs also market themselves as a makeup setting type spray. Um, and what I like about them is they come in lots of different types of SPF levels. The one that we're going to be talking about today is actually an SPF 50. If you missed it, uh, I think this was the week before last, I reviewed the Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Setting Mist. This is a broad spectrum SPF, SPF 45. So I will link this review down below. This is quite an affordable SPF that I think works pretty well on my oily skin. So if you're in the market, this one is definitely worth checking out. But today we are talking about the Vacation Super Spritz SPF 50 Face Mist. Um, so this is water resistant up to 80 minutes. So this would be a great thing to take along with you to the pool. If you are looking to reapply your SPF while you're out and about, this is very compact. I feel like this would fit in most purses uh, pretty easily. I do love this very 90s style of packaging about this. Um, and it is plastic. And one of the things that made me a little nervous about the Pacifica is that this, this is glass. So this is not one that I would feel the most comfortable traveling with, but this bad boy right here, fabulous in this plastic container. So we are going to read through some of the claims of this SPF and then I'm going to tell you how it's been working out for my uh, oily skin, <laughs> which is the whole point of this video. So um, I mentioned already this is a broad spectrum SPF 50 protection against, um, so this is going to protect against the UVA and the UVB rays, water resistant up to 80 minutes, invisible finishing mist that does not disturb makeup so that's kind of the key for you know one of the main reasons that i'm reviewing this is how does it work over makeup um this is a uh 
quick dry down with a subtle satin finish. Um, easy application and reapplication. It is reef friendly. Um, refreshing, long, uh, long, acu actuated. <laughs> what? I can read. I promise I can read. Actuated fine mist spray uh, features a subtle hint of vacation's award winning signature scent. So, this was one of the main reasons why I went for this particular SPF. I, I love the vacation fragrance. In fact, last month I finished my first bottle of the vacation eau de toilette. Um, love it. It smells like it's it smells like my childhood from the 90s. <laughs> if you love the smell of swimsuit lycra, um, chlorinated pools, banana, coconut, like all things tropical, you you have to check this fragrance out. It's absolutely amazing. Um, let's see here. Transparent on all skin tones, um, clean, lightweight feel. It's cruelty free and it's also a vegan formula. So if that's important to you, here we go. Um, so, uh, it's dermatologist tested. It is manufactured here in the U.S. Um, and it's in travel friendly packaging made with recycled materials. Um, and they say that every vacation formula is dermatologist tested and reviewed by toxicologists to ensure world class protection. So your key ingredients here are bisabolol. Uh, full disclosure, I don't know what that is. Um, I've seen it several times listed <laughs> in ingredient decks, but I don't know, I've never bothered to look it up. Um, there's also aloe and cucumber in here, and basically this is just a blend of naturally occurring antioxidants that keep your skin soothed and calm. Um, there's caffeine in here, a hardworking depuffing agent to uh, reinvigorate your skin. Banana and coconut, a tropical duo of nourishment and hydration to combat the drying effects of sun exposure. Shea and maracuja oils, lightweight plant-based oils to boost hydration and enhance the skin barrier functions. Also in here are green tea, vitamin E, algae, and ferulic acid, a refreshing antioxidant cocktail to help uh, skin bombarded by blue light pollution and other environmental stressors. So this formula does not have oxybenzone, um, octanoxate, 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 geez louise. <laughs> <laughs> parabens, phthalates, PEGs, beeswax, or mineral oils. So currently um, this is on sale at Ulta. However, it is sold out online. So um, it was on sale at Ulta. <laughs> so um, I think that's probably why it sold out. Um, this is a pretty popular spray SPF right now, I feel like. Um, it is available for $16.80. Um, I actually picked this up in store. I did an order online pickup in store type situation because they were doing bonus points for that. So why not? So you might be able to check for in store availability, order it online and have it available for you to pick up in store. Otherwise, I will link it in a few different places down below as well. So feel free to check that out. Um, all right. So let's let's discuss. We went through a lot of details there. I have been using this for the last um, couple of weeks and holy moly, I really love this one for a multitude of reasons. First of all, the fragrance. I know that there are a lot of people out there who cannot handle fragrance and skincare. And if that is you, I would immediately tell you to skip this one. Um, I love the travel friendly packaging and I love the formulation, you guys. It does have a really nice mist on it. We are gonna spray it on my face here in a minute so that you can see what it looks like when it goes on. Um, but basically, this holds up incredibly well to my oil production. Um, this is a great way to touch up throughout the day without disturbing anything. I don't think it disturbs my makeup at all. I do think it has a little bit of a satin finish to it, so it's not a perfectly matte finish, but I think the satin finish is actually quite nice. Um, and that is coming from someone who normally is like very averse to any type of shine or glow on my skin. I really actually like the way that this looks on my skin after it has dried down. Um, I just think this is a fantastic product. I see myself 100% repurchasing this one. I really liked the Pacifica. I like this one even better, you guys. In fact, so far, out of all of the spray SPFs that I've tried, this one takes the cake. It's even better than the Kate Somerville Uncomplicated um, 
SPF uh, 50. I wore that for several years and that was a wonderful way to touch up, but I think this is even better. By the way, I, I don't think I told you what the SPF is in here, so let's go through that really quickly. Um, this is a chemical SPF, so be aware of that. Avobenzone, um, octisalate, and octocrylene are your SPFs that are in here. Um, so great protection, UVA, UVB, and it's easy to reapply. It smells like a million bucks. I just, I don't know. To me, this particular formula can do no wrong. Everything that I've tried from vacation so far, including their like Chardonnay, like sunscreen body oil, um, the perfume, this, it, they've all been just rockstar products. I really love this brand and I see myself repurchasing from them multiple times in the future. So let's go ahead and shake this up really well and then we're gonna go ahead and spray it on my face so that you can get a little bit of a demo. Um, you do want to reapply your SPF rather frequently if you are outside especially during the summer you're probably sweating um you know it's just you're probably in and out of the water it's just best to like err on the side of being cautious and reapplying more frequently that rather than like less frequently um i tend to just reapply once every couple of hours i don't know i'm not really like in and out of the water necessarily but i i do get hot and sweaty so Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and move my hair out of the way and let's spray this. Mmm, oh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. Okay, so you can see it on my skin. It's not shiny. Like, it just... Once it dries down, it's gonna have a really nice satin finish to it. The smell, I just love the smell of this stuff. It smells exactly like the perfume. It does, uh, It obviously doesn't have the intensity of the perfume, but it, it is fragranced, so do know that. Um, I really love the way this looks on my skin. I'm wearing some pretty minimal makeup today. I just have a little bit of my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Powder Foundation on, a little bit of blush and contour. I'm not really wearing much eye makeup, just a bit of mascara. And this just went perfectly over top. It's not disturbing anything and it's giving me the extra protection that I need. So for me, this one is a big fat winner. And if you're in the market for something to touch up with, that's really easy and travel friendly. I'm gonna say, give this one the old college try. I really like it a lot. So let me know if you have tried these super spritz from vacation down below in the comments. And um, yeah, let me let me know how you feel about fragrance in your, in your skincare. I know there's a lot of you that don't mind it, but I know there's also a lot of you that do. So let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys being here. Stay tuned. Um, next week, I will be reviewing the Kula Makeup Setting Sunscreen Spray. This one is only an SPF of 30, but it is also water resistant. So this one will be coming up next week. Let me know if there is any other spray SPF that you would like to have me try out this summer. Um, leave that in the comments down below. Check out the description box for all of the links. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.